Sports Monthly that we've got this Horizon World Cup coming mm. up. I think we do have the experts in the room tell us a bit more about what that is. So whenever you're ready, I cannot wait to know more about it. Yeah, so um, obviously all car enthusiasts, I think we all can all share this, we all have a bit of an affinity for a, a certain country's okay. cars, uh, be that German performance, Italia, Italian finesse. I love American cars, uh, I love American muscle, I love that, like the ludicrous power and the aggressive stylings that you get. Um, I'm going to be team JDM, just the beautiful cars, <laughs> there's so many, just Mazda. Subaru, um, Honda, like, I could keep going, there's just too many to name, Skyline, Civics, there's just, you could go on forever, Japan is my special. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, the Horizon World Cup is all about that, it's all about yeah. showing your yeah. love for, yeah. for these countries' cars. So it's not necessarily the country that you're from, but rather sure. that country that you have an affinity for their cars. Um, and yeah, as you're driving them around, you're going to be repping points for, for those countries, you might be a better place than me to explain exactly how that works. Yep, so uh, every week if you go play our championships, playground games, the trial, uh, the car you pick to take to the event uh, counts a point towards the country. Uh, so for example, I might go and play a trial in the Honda Civic and that will count me a point towards Japan. Okay, cool. interesting. I think it's pretty clear at this point what teams you're both repping. So I'm going to say right now I want it to be recorded in loving memory of my previous Corsa. I'm going to go for the UK team. I've got to support the home team. Um, you seem to have a big feeling that Japan is the way to go. Is there a reason or a vibe why you think that's going to maybe tip it? I'm trying to start conflict on the sofa is what I'm doing here. So why is Team Japan going to win? I think it's just the, <laughs> the beauty of the cars and just how many cars they've got. They're so great. I think it, it really takes a special place in people's hearts, like the Supra, the Civic. Like There's just too many cars to not, to not pick them. I, th I think as well, Kelly's probably got one eye on the fact that our livery editor is absolutely full of anime liveries, <laughs> which probably means that the community are really big onto Japanese culture, so you might be on something there, Kelly. Brilliant. Okay, now I think it goes without saying that a World Cup, there's always a winner at the end, so how does that translate to Forza Horizon 5? What's the winner at the end of the day? Um, so every week we'll release, so you've got to watch our socials, um, we'll keep you updated on who's winning, where you are in the standings, and at the end of the month we'll send you a nice little surprise uh, based on the winner. Brilliant, okay, looking forward to seeing what that is as we roll through, and I think this is a really good point to jump in to the festival playlist. We've got mm. four more weeks coming up of exciting bits and pieces to do, as well as more cars to unlock, so let's dive in. Um, what have we got coming up first? All right, the, well, the, cha uh, the championships you'll play towards the competition. Um. <laughs> so are there any new changes to, that we can see on the festival plays? Obviously, we've been doing this for a while now since it's come out. Is there anything that you found, actually, fans are maybe gravitating towards and changes that you're seeing and, and making sure you're putting in there for them? Uh, yeah, so we're, we've got um, a mix and match of content. Uh, we, we like to kind of switch things up. Uh, so some weeks you might not find uh, playground games, some weeks you might find all, one every week. Um, so yeah, it's a, a, we've got it up now for you to see. Uh, we've got some great cars, some great events, the showcase remixes coming up later. Um, do we? Yeah, so those changes are all in support of that World Cup theme. So the World yeah. Cup is all about racing and getting out there and driving your favourite cars. So we've slanted it more towards racing than maybe PR stunts and stuff like that for this series. Uh, worth a call out, the Neo EP9, which is a new Forza uh, Chinese supercar. Nice. Uh, 25 points in summer. Uh, we did drive that around in the Forza Monthly earlier on, so go check that out if you didn't watch it. Um, I think... Uh, as we're talking about the, the World Cup, I think it's worth having a look at the, uh, the championships here. Uh, is, there one to, is there one to look at here or, or no? Uh, so each week you can get, I think a good thing to point out would be that as we look through the weeks, you can earn cars each week towards the next week. Okay. So if you play all the content in summer, you'll get all the cars you need to play next week too. Um. Yeah, so, and if we look at the eligible cars and... Um, you can see it. So it has a car from each of the competing countries in the World oh, Cup. Oh, I see. Is uh, there a way of organising that? I'm not great when it comes to manufacturers. Yes. I'll be the first to admit. So for any folks who maybe want to represent a specific country but don't know how, it looks like you do have that yeah, option available. Yeah, so you, you may reasonably not actually know what country these car manufacturers come from. So you can just sort by country and it will helpfully categorise them for you. Um, so Kelly would probably pick the Supra, I'm assuming. <laughs> um, I would naturally pick the Mustang. And how would you rate my chances with that? <laughs> uh, it's pretty fast, the case, yeah? actually. It's like, 
What does it weigh? Like seven kilograms or something? So um, you, <laughs> I think it's a little too <laughs> your engine, but it's in that super light category, so it okay, cool. weighs hardly anything at all. So um, yeah, much smaller engine than the Mustang, but actually probably pro probably a bit quicker than it's going to be around the bends at least. Mm, okay. Um, but yeah, so you pick one of these cars, you're repping that country, you, you, you earn points to that country when you do it, right? And these yeah. work towards yeah. points, you say. So the more, is it a winning or just selecting that gets these points together? Uh, just playing the content. So finishing off the championship, finishing off the trial in the cars you love just counts towards that country. Interesting. Okay, I want everyone in chat at this point, if you haven't already begun, <laughs> please make sure you tell us what country you're going to be repping. I want to see if we could do our own little sort of taste or a survey in chat of what, what flavour we're going for at the moment. Um, is there anything else to the festival playlist you want to call out? I think you kind of touched on it, but it's worth just mentioning again. The rewards, as you can see, uh, are all cars. There's more cars in this series than we've ever given away before. Oh, and each of them are from those countries that are competing in the World Cup. So uh, it gives you an opportunity to earn a lot of cars, which you then may be, may be, may be able to use in future seasons to... Uh, Correct. Um, I think we should also call out the, the new cars as well. So the Wuling Sunshine, the absolute hero of this particular update, uh, <laughs> 25 points in autumn. Um, the new uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS4 um, is 25 points in winter. And the MG MG3, 25 points in spring. So good they named it twice, huh? Ah, they did, yeah. <laughs> so, a, I don't know how naming conventions work, it's, but... It's, a, it's been a bit of a staple of MG for yeah. 50 years, so they big... Under, under, under new management, but sticking to their very confusing naming conventions. Yeah. Big fans, love it. <laughs> Wonderful. So that's everything we've got in the festival playlist we're going to run through, but that's not the only new thing, particularly when it comes to the World Cup. We also have other ways of supporting your country. <clears throat> England are going to win. Um, and those are in the forms of clothes and car horns. So can we check out some of those? But also, how's the best way to access them? Do, do we need to unlock them, etc., etc.? So for the clothing, um, they'll be unlocked as you go to the, custom, the customizer for uh, Series 4. So day one, just jump straight in and pick the race suit that you want to show support for your country. Um, it's a great way to show it on socials, to show it in the post-race, um, mm -hmm. to show everyone who you're supporting. I think that's going to be the most exciting thing, especially when it comes to, like, when you're going through the festival playlist and you're pairing up with random people and you're trying to get through the championships. It's that starting lineup, <laughs> and you'll be able to see everyone's jumpsuits on. Let's take a look. Yeah, so these are... Oh, look at that. Free for everyone. Pretty, pretty snazzy. Um, I think the Italian one, if, although I was, like, I was all Team USA <laughs> before, I think the, the Italian one is... That's got some Especially drip. Cool I do looking. like that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, USA looking good, looking like you might be about to go and jump over the Grand Canyon on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> very classic, I love it. Very yes, very, very good. Yeah, those are great. Big fan. And you say that those are just unlocked automatically. You don't need to yes. try and earn them. Yeah. Lovely. Do these go towards points or is it just stylish? No, just stylish. Just yeah. stylish. Can you <laughs> mean that in the best way? <laughs> so we all nerding out on cars is fantastic. We're now going to have a look at some of the amazing cars that you went through earlier on Forza Monthly. So where should we start? Who's going to go first? So I think we should start with the Volkswagen Go. I mean, I love it. Okay, Great yeah, okay. choice. Yeah, so... Um, we actually didn't look at these ones on the monthly. Oh, did on we monthly. not? No, oh, no. Did these, we these not? ones are fresh. We looked at the, um, the Chinese ones on the monthly. These ones are... Ah, oh, there we go. ...are yet to be seen. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so this is the Volkswagen Golf R. It is the Mark 7.5, which is kind of a bit of a, a facelift from the, the Mark 7. Mm -hmm. um, 0 to 60 in uh, 4.7 seconds. 296 brake horsepower, and that's all powered by a two liter inline four. Uh, does a top speed uh, by default around 155 miles per hour. Like I say, it's a bit of a, a bit of a facelift from the other um, other models. Uh, really nice interior trim we've got here. Looks very very classy. Um, you've got your quad exhaust as well. If you take a look at those at the back, they look fantastic. Um, the key thing about this car as well is that it's, it's all-wheel drive, and that's kind of what sets it apart from mm -hmm. the, uh, the GTI. But um, another thing that we love about this car is there's, there's a few people in the PG office that actually have <laughs> this car. C it. Celebrity drivers include uh, Playground Games, the uh, principal, ga the principal game. game designer, Ben Thakerfell. Ben Thakerfell, <laughs> yeah, he, who also um, used to have the Ford Puma, which we also oh. um, added. Yeah, it's almost so, as if he has the ability to influence what cars appear in the game. Yeah. There's some persuasion there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in a Citroen C1, so maybe I'll try and <laughs> 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 good word. <laughs> 
<laughs> you should figure out who they're emailing about get the parson. <laughs> it's that easy. Um, yeah, so, um, and that, that's just what you, it, it, people love this car. It's a car that a lot of people own here in the UK. You, you see this on most it's roads. It's very familiar, around. isn't it? Very, very familiar. And there's something really fun about taking this to Horizon and kind of just throwing off danger signs, throwing off top of volcanoes and having a lot of fun with having it. Having a massive tune Proud with it as well. As if we planned it, there's one <laughs> right here. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is, this is what I love about Horizon, just taking cars we, you love and uh, having lots of fun with them. Doing that with it. A uh, bit of a, um, a deeper rear bumper as well. We've got the quad exhausts. It just looks very, very classy and uh, yeah, awesome, awesome car. Oh, um, right. And you can get this, uh, it's in the Car Pass this series as mm -hmm. well. So if you're a Car awesome. Pass owner, this will be yours in this series. Cool, all right. Where are we going next, Mike? What have you got for us today? We're going to look at one of these uh, new Porsches. Um, let's start with the Sport Classic. So this is the uh, 2010 uh, 911 Sport Classic. This is um, it's one of the limited edition 911s. Porsche would like to release, uh, every now and again, they'll... Um, they'll produce and release a very limited run, uh, almost collector's edition of the 911 and, and okay. the Cayman as well. They do it for their the, the other lines. Uh, these are, they're basically sold only to uh, Porsche's like preferred customers. So people oh, have already purchased. Their favorites. Yeah, their, their favorite customers who've purchased many uh, Porsches in the past. Interesting. Um, yeah, you have to, I think you have to work quite hard to get on that before Porsche <laughs> uh, preferred customers. I said, Porsche, if you're watching, <laughs> bump, bump, bump me up that queue. Um, it's, it's, a really gorgeous car. It's got that. It's yeah, got that. Really. Is it harking back to some of the older, like seventies Porsches with that like duck's tail spoiler at the back? Yeah, Inside, yeah. it's just like chocolate leather all over and super luxurious. Like really, like the. Yeah, you can't really feel it in game, but um, the I fine, like the, the respect of you having gloves on in it as well. <laughs> yeah, in my in my USA <laughs> exactly <laughs> jumpsuit. <laughs> Yeah, I absolutely um, love the leather. There's so much of it. Like when you were panning the camera around there, you've just got like this this kind of brown luxury leather just across the interior. It's, it's really yeah. good. And it's so this one is built to be super luxurious. Still makes about 400 brake horsepower. Super fast, super quick. It's a 911. Um, but um, yeah, looks fantastic and is absolutely driving in the lap of luxury while you're in it. It is exactly. It's done him. Um, so, Dave, I believe you've got our next car. I do, yeah, let's jump into it. So, another car that uh, will be coming to Game Pass this series is the Mazda 323 GTR. Uh, uh, Did you give up on the alphabet? Oh, I, I remember <laughs> that favourite edit, so it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is the 1992 uh, Mazda 323. Um, this is the kind of familiar model, but in Europe we call it the 323. Uh, the GTR, which is this one, is actually Japanese only. Um, and it's pretty rare, so 2,500 of these uh, were made, but um, obviously it's Japanese only, so they're quite hard to come by. Um, 1.8 turbo, all-wheel drive, uh, 210 brake horsepower, so it's got yeah, a bit of weight to it. Uh, Notch 60 in 7.2 seconds. What's really cool about this car um, is that it's actually in real life speed limited to 180 um, kilometers per hour. Okay. But there was like a screw in the speedo that you could take out and then the limiter just didn't exist. A literal screw. Yeah, a literal screw. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you could kind of mod it just by taking a screw out, which I think is... is but is, it's like the beginner's guy, really. <laughs> yeah. Just take the screw out, done. Why, yeah. why, why was it limited? Um, I think it was Japanese um, regulation for the cars that they had to so, say. Um, it's the easiest and quickest loophole I've ever know, heard right. to get around something. Um, you, you know the guy at the dealer as well, it's just like, hey, by the way. Just take <laughs> <Yeah>. screw out. <laughs> <laughs> we can't sell it to you with that out, but and screw that. I know, it's, it's brilliant. So I think the car uh, we have probably has not got the speed limiter on in, uh, in Horizon. Sure. Um, we, we were talking like it's probably too expensive to kind of model in taking the screw out in Forza Vista. <laughs> so you have to just imagine that you're doing that. Um, but yeah, really, Very really good. cool car. Um, it's really interesting styling for a, for a Mazda, isn't it? It kind of looks like a 80s Lancia. It does. It really um, does. Kind of spoiler and like a huge yeah. rear uh, window at the back there as well. No, it's, it's really cool. Um, cool. Beautiful. Last car then. Next Over up. Let's have then, a look. Mike, what have we got? Another Porsche 911. Another? Uh, You're really trying to get on that list, aren't you? <laughs> I really am. Like, it's, this isn't a joke. <laughs> um, this is another car that you need to be on the, the Porsche preferred customers list in order to yeah. purchase. <laughs> if you're listening, Porsche, just, just click just this so you know. car 
and just email it to someone at Porsche and you've done what you intended for this stream, all right? So it, in both cases, they're produced in really, really limited numbers. Uh -huh. um, in the in the previous one, it's because they want it to be super, really exclusive and luxurious. And I think that was 250, uh, mm -hmm. that one. This one is a little bit more. Uh, was it 600? Around 600. Around yeah. 600. Um, according to Porsche, that is because the parts for it were particularly limited. And so that was the maximum they could produce. OK. Um, I think it might also be because they want it to be really exclusive in there. <laughs> but um, but s similar to the previous one, um, they kind of pre-select the customers for them, so they don't even really go on the market, they just sell out straight away and they pick um, they pick their biggest Porsche fans and sure. just sell them directly to them. Yeah, I imagine Porsche fans wouldn't then want to put them on the market. I'm sure you would probably get a pretty decent amount of money for it, but also that's your super secret special car, so yeah. it's, it's an interesting way of doing it. I, never, I genuinely had no idea they did that. Um, so whereas the previous one was all about luxury and like harking back to Porsche's history, this one's all about track performance. Okay. Uh, track performance, that is road legal, I should say. <laughs> so, sure. Um, so you can see it's got, a, it's got really sporty stylings, really nice wide wheel arches, cool spoiler. Uh, inside, they've done everything they can to reduce weight, including, I can't really see, let me turn around so you can see the light on it. Um, they've swapped out the... Uh, the handle on the door there to open it for a little bit of, little bit of fabric. <laughs> is that little that bit, little red thing? A little bit of yeah, red it fabric. Is, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I love um, that. I actually love so, that. Save, save yourself about 30 grams. <laughs> yeah. on it's like a different version of a go faster stripe on a car. Just take the handles out and it'll go faster. There's no um, radio or aircon either, so just to try and take the weight out as much as possible. So it would be boiling in there, <laughs> especially uh, where you're at the moment. What a fascinating okay. choice. In Porsche styling, so they keep, still keep that little clock there in the middle of the dash, don't oh, they? Yeah. Uh, yeah, again, yeah. That, that'll weigh more than the door handle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that someone had that conversation somewhere. How can we reduce the rate? Door handles. Because they'll set the clock and they'll go, oh no, we, we always put the clock there. That's kind of like <laughs> one of the things, isn't it? And it's like, you've got to have that. It wouldn't really be a 911. Amazing. Um, and how, how are we going to get this car then during the next season? Do you know, Dave? Oops. Looks over to notes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, notes. <laughs> It's in the playlist. It's in the playlist. It's in the it's playlist. In the playlist. Um, okay. Where are you? Uh, there you go. There you go. It's in the playlist. <laughs> so, one, 25 points in winter. There we go. One is called Kelly Notes. notes. <laughs> no, I, we, if you, sorry, that, there are notes on the right hand side here. I, 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 I promise. I promise. <laughs> I did not mean like that. One of them is in Carfast, one of them is in Festival Playlist, and I'm afraid I got them mixed up in my head. So, uh, there we go. Festival Playlist, yeah. Smooth, smooth. Perfect. And as you mentioned, um, we did see some very lovely cars in Forza Monthly that had a Chinese theme here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to revisit any of the classics or show them again in case anyone missed it, but there you're also adding a simplified Chinese voiceover as well. 